Welcome back to Home Studio to our sixth video in our series of working with Flask and MySQL in Python Anywhere. And we're going to display database information on a front page. Now, before we do all that, we're going to basically deploy the Flask web app. And this will be pretty simple. So we're just going to do that in this video. Now, where we left off, we had our connection with Python and using the MySQL driver, the connector and we displayed our database in our console. Now we eventually want to do that on the front end. So what we're going to do is install the Flask app. Now I'm going to go back to my files. So I'm going to go over here to files. And we already made a folder called Flask. And that's where this file that I was just looking at was in. Now we're going to also put a main.py file in there that will have our Flask information. So it'll be different from this. That way we'll keep multiple files in there, but main will be the one that we'll connect with. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to web. And I just want to point out that under account, you only get one free web app. Here's Here's the beginner model here, and you basically just get the yourusername.pythonanywhere.com. And that's fine. That's all we're going to do right now. But if you want more than one, you can use other plans. And by the way, you can make a custom plan where if you wanted three domains, you could do that, but you don't need some other things. You can always do that. But I'm just using the free account, so I just wanted to point that out. So I'm going to go back to web this time. And it says you have no web apps, so I'm going to add a new web app. And it says upgrade, and you might be thinking, oh, I gotta pay for this. And it only means that for a custom domain. Now, otherwise, you're just gonna use your username domain. That's what we're gonna do, so just hit next. So don't worry about this right now, just hit next. And we're gonna choose Flask. And I have the newest version at 3.8, so my interpreter was opening up in 3.8, and that's what I'm gonna choose right now. And here's your path, now it's saying your username and then it's saying my site you don't have to use my site you could use flask because we have a flask folder there so we can make sure it goes in that folder and it's also making a file called flaskapp.py and you could change this to be main.py but i just want to leave it like that for now because i just want to point out what it's going to do and how you can change that if you need to because i was confused about that but you can specify the folder here so we're going to do that and it will make a file called flask app that will have everything that you need in there and i'll hit next and they have this little button down here that you could run for three months. You can update that if you don't do anything with it. And keep in mind, at some point when you make changes to your Python file, you're going to have to reload this. Now, this thing here is your link to open it up. And what I do is I right-click and I open it up in a new tab. So I'm going to go here and open it up. And here it is. And it says, hello from Flask. And we're going to change that. And obviously, this will be where we'll look at our database. But right now, because it's saying that, it means it's connecting to Flask. So it's using Flask right now. So I'm going to keep this open. And I'm also going to go back to my files and just see what happened. If I go into the Flask folder, I have that flaskapp.py. And if I look at it, this has the very basic kind of Flask skeleton to start off. It's importing Flask. It's using the app instance, and it's creating the root, and it's basically just doing a hello world function where it's just returning hello from Flask. And we'll go over some of this stuff, but that's all it's doing right now. Now, if you change this, that's fine. You could change this. Now, I just want to point out that if you want to keep this for whatever reason and you want to have a new file, uh, I'll show you where to change that because I didn't know how to do this before and it created some problems So let me just point this out so you could leave this here right now But obviously you don't want to keep a hello from flask file, but what I'm going to do is go save as and I'll save as main.py because this is going to be the one I'm going to use I'll have one called main.py and I'll hit save so now I have a new file called main.py and I might want to say this is my main.py file without doing anything else right now. I just want to do this just to see that it's connecting to the new one. So this is my new one, uh, and I'll even just put for Home Studio. So I know it's customized. So I know I made a change here. And then I'll just save it. Okay, now it's saved. And if I go back to my page, I can refresh, and nothing's happening. 
And the reason nothing's happening is because we have to go back to our web app. So let me go here to web. Now you could delete this and start all over again. There's a delete button down at the bottom where you could delete it and start it all over again. What I want to point out is that you need to go into this configuration file and where it says flask app because that's the default file that it made just change this to be main and that way it'll point to main and just save it and go back to web and you have to reload because if you don't reload if you go here and you just refresh oh that time it did it <laughs> the last time I did it it didn't but if it doesn't refresh just go here and reload it and then when you come here it should update so now it's pointing to the main.py file and that's the one that we're gonna start building our code in but we still have our other one if we need so if we go back to our files I'll go back to files in flask we still have that one so that was our first one that we worked with so we still have this main.py and this is the one we're gonna start to build now you can upload files here if you've worked in a local environment you could upload files but we're gonna create things from scratch here so we're gonna build our templates we're gonna build our HTML files we're even gonna do a CSS file and we're gonna build our flask file to first just connect to our database just like we did with Python in the console but make it show up on the page and then we're gonna start displaying our database so that's what we're gonna be doing next so I'll stop here with this video just make sure you get that set up and we're gonna work with main.py in the next video and we're gonna use this main.py file to actually connect to our database and make sure that we're connecting so we're gonna go back to that other connect file and copy some of that code from there and bring it into here so that's coming up in our next video. Thanks for watching.